actually once had a lady on a flight say to me, Oh, you shouldn't be traveling so much for work. You should find a young man or an old man to settle down with. Is it just my imagination? Once again, running around it. Okay, that's enough. Right, so welcome to my channel. My name is Elijah Marquette. If you are new to my channel, hello and welcome. Please consider subscribing and becoming part of my family here on YouTube. It's coming up to that time of the year when you will be visiting family members, going for Christmas dinners, lunches, and you know, just uh, hanging around family and friends. And oftentimes at this particular point in the year, I often get a question, which sometimes can be very annoying. However, I think it's people meaning well. It's a question of why are you still single? Why are you not coupled up? When are you getting married? And you know, 2020 is right around the corner. So you know, what are you doing with your life? Um, especially around birthday season and Christmas. I find that those are always the very pivotal points where I get asked that question. So I come from a very traditional African background. I think luckily for me, my parents are not as aggressive about, you know, all of that. They just want me to be happy, which I thoroughly appreciate. But I know for some people it's, um, yeah, it's, it's life is tough. You know, the stuff is real. Like they get so much pressure from family members. And you know, I often get the question, oh, are you too picky? <laughs> Are you too picky? You know, are you being too picky about who you want to get married to? Or, you know, what's the problem? And I just think, oh my God, like how personal can you get? Firstly, this is only one of the most singularly important decisions one will ever make. So yeah, no, I'm not being picky at all. I need to marry the next person who walks down my door. No, but literally, um, of course you want to be a bit selective about who you get married to. It's an important decision, right? Um, I actually once had a lady on a flight say to me, Oh, you shouldn't be traveling so much for work. You should find a young man or an old man to settle down with. And I was thinking, oh my goodness, my mom would be so horrified that you're saying that to me because she doesn't even pressure me that much. So. Anyway, guys, um, I also had another lady say to me, oh, you know, I have a very eligible young son who's rich and handsome and, you know, I'd like to introduce you to him. And I smiled, of course, very politely, but in my heart, I was thinking, no, thanks. I don't need anyone to be a matchmaker for me. I shall find my own love myself. But anyway, that's the culture I come from. So um, I've been asked these questions many times over the years because I've been single for uh, that long. But yeah, I'm used to it now. If you're single and you're getting a lot of pressures around, you know, marriage and being coupled up, listen, take your time. In my opinion, it's better to get it right the first time around than to make a mistake and end up being divorced and unhappy. I'm not saying all divorced people are unhappy, but majority of the people I know who are divorced, yeah, they're not happy at all. Take your time. Make sure that you find someone who is compatible with you, who you'd like to spend the rest of your life with, perhaps. Um, no, but on a more serious note, you know, the same values, ideals, morals, you know, all of these things matter. And it's not about how rich that person is or how good looking they are or, you know, whatever. Um, uh, you know, what their physique is like, it's very important that you make the right choice based on the right facets or the right variables. So yeah, I just wanted to say to you, don't get pressured into getting married. Uh, I see a lot of that, a lot of people getting married because they feel like they're past their sell-by date, which is something very typical for people to say in my culture. Um, you know, or they just want to be like the Joneses, they want to get married or, you know, engage and have the lovely big wedding and all that. That's really all wonderful. But marriage is meant to be for life. And also think about this. This is the person you're going to be giving your everything to. You're submitting to this person, your life, your body. Um, everything belongs to that person and everything they are and they own belongs to you as well. So it's a give and take relationship. Anyway, my point being, take your time. Don't get pressured into getting married because it's 
I'd rather be single and much happier than being married and miserable. And I've seen a lot of it. And I'm not saying all marriages are like that. My siblings have very beautiful marriages, thank God for that. Um, but my point being that I'd rather be single and enjoying my life, being able to go where I want to go, you know, and live how I want to live, than being in a relationship that is abusive, uh, mentally, physically, emotionally, you know, whatever it might be. So yeah just take your time and by god's grace you will find the person who is absolutely perfect for you the operative phrase being perfect for you there's no such thing as a perfect person right you will have to compromise on one thing or the other none of us are perfect but yeah just take your time enjoy life in the meantime you know enjoy being single because when you get married things change right and you are fairly accountable to someone else so just take your time and don't rush into it and uh, yeah, by God's grace, you make the right decisions and you live happily ever after. But anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. That's it for this video. If you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, definitely leave me a comment below. Um, let me know what you'd like to see. I also will be doing a lot more fashion style type videos, especially for winter. I have a best collection of my coats video um, coming up. I also have some fashion ideas for fall to ensure you look chic and very elegant this season. So yeah, lots more to come. So thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't subscribed and I shall see you in my next video. Thank you. What was that? <laughs> anyway, bye for now guys.